So this is Anne Marie Allman. And this is Linda Alice Dewey, the artist. And we are at the Oliver Art Center for our exhibition called On the Precipice. And this is our mothership. This is the main painting that started the whole process for us. And uh, Anne Marie wrote uh, a poem to go with each one of my paintings. But she took this photograph, which started the whole deal. I saw it on Facebook. And then I asked her if I could paint it. And then she saw the, well, you go ahead. And then- Well, I saw the first part of the painting as you were working on it, and it inspired a change in the poem. And so I asked her about if I could send her the poem, and she then, I think, took off from that. I just loved the poem so much. And, and I said, well, can we do something with this? And so anyway, um, but, but, and so I thought, well, maybe we could do a series. And uh, so it went from there. So we want to talk about um, the work, the painting and, and the poem. So Anne-Marie, um, what was it that you saw in the painting that changed your poem? What? Well, the painting was more distant. You moved it out, so it, got a, it was a bigger picture then, suddenly. And I realized that the poem wanted to do the same thing, that the poem also wanted to move out so that I could address the whole, the whole idea. And this is where the precipice came from is I had originally been looking at the roots and the tenuousness of this tree with all these roots exposed and the erosion underneath. But as I studied the painting, I realized these children, these children are on the precipice. They're on this little bluff, but everything could go all at once. And it felt like it was calling to our times, you know, and especially because most of this occurred during the pandemic. And in fact, in her Facebook post, she used the word precarious, precarious times. And I thought it was so beautiful, the composition and, and I, you know, I might have moved a few things for, for the painting, but basically this was the photograph. And I, um, I thought it was beautiful, but I also said, thought that it had a message. And so the poem is so extraordinary, the words, uh, of course, Anne Marie is a master um, at, uh, uh, of, of words. And she says, um, it's called What One Does Not See. And if I can read a, a few lines here and there, I would want you to come in and, and enjoy the full thing, so I'm not going to give the whole thing away. But one does not at first see the roots stripped of soil, reaching to the river, tentacled, exposed as muscle. That just blows me away. And, and then she's, she uses the word um, caveness. One does not see beneath the trunk. Caveness revealed, fibrous mass shaken out, rinsed by river. And that's about the tree, much less than the children later on. And she says what they do, what you do see, but then they do not see their future poised. And so they play, you take that stone, I'll take this one, stand here, now jump to the river. And, and it says what they do see, but what one does not see when you look here. There's more depth. And all of that came from Linda's rendering of this, the way she darkened and lightened and distanced. And that wasn't in the original poem. So that came from studying the painting that she created from the photograph. And I have to say that of all the paintings that I've done, and there are nine of them in this series, this one was the most difficult because I, I had a great deal of difficulty um, delineating this tree in the foreground from the trees that are lighter in the background. Wow. And notice that this one is darker. This is the one that's falling in, but it's also in shadow. This is the one that's dying. These trees are full of light. There's light back there, but this one is the one that's going, it's darker. But at that time, I wasn't seeing that metaphor. I was just trying to show this one in front of the other ones that are more backlit. And of course, the children playing in that tension. That's part of it too. The children are right there, the living beings. 
and our I love, own species. I love the adolescence of them. Yeah. The, the girls, their straight little bodies, and the boy, you can just tell that they're not, they're not truly grown into uh, their bodies yet. Yeah. And so they play.